Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to fix your iMessage slash FaceTime errors that you may be getting when you're trying to activate it for the first time. Now this can come in the form of a ton of different issues, but I'll go ahead and explain to you the iMessage activation first. So if you're experiencing you know, specific problems when you're trying to activate your iMessage, aka if you go into iMessage and you're not able to send anything, you're not able to receive anything, and it's just basically blinking at you saying, you know, iMessage needs to be activated or whatever, the main thing that you can do in this specific case that Apple also suggests is to typically just go into your settings app. So just get into a panel that looks like this. You want to scroll down until you get into iMessage. So right here you can see messages. All you want to do is click on that and you'll come into your whole entire panel right here. Now at the very, very top, you'll see that there's a little option called iMessage. So this is exactly where you want to go ahead and start off with. Right here, all you want to do is make sure that that toggle is on. As long as that toggle is on, then you're perfectly set. All you have to do now is try to go ahead and send out a text, try to receive a text, and as long as you're able to go through those things, then you're perfectly fine, you know? Now, if that still doesn't work for some reason, let's say iMessage is still stuck in, you know, activations and all that stuff, all you'll have to do at this point is to toggle iMessage on and off and see if that fixes it. Sometimes that may just end up fixing it in and of itself, but Apple also suggests for you to actually wait up to 24 hours, you know, after actually enabling iMessage and activating it. There can be some cases where, you know, you enable it and it doesn't work immediately. So you may actually have to wait up to 24 hours for that to actually end up getting fixed. So that's the very first thing. The next thing, which Apple also suggests, is to actually turn off your phone and then turn it back on, which sounds so stupid. It sounds like the most basic thing ever, but that typically can also fix it too. So power off your phone completely, reboot it back on, and see if that's actually able to fix a problem. If that ends up fixing it, then you're great. But let's say you end up you know, receiving the same problem. You're not able to send any messages. You're not able to activate it. Well, this next thing tends to work for me almost every single time. That's actually updating your device. So what this ends up doing, sometimes you may be on an outdated version of software, or maybe you just updated to your software and it's, you know, hurting right now. Well, what you'll have to do is pretty much update your device whenever an update is available and pretty much move on from there. So what you want to do is you want to go into your settings, you want to click general, you want to click software update, and you want to basically go and download the update and install it. And after this, you should end up having the issues that are fixed when it comes down to the iMessage activation. So iMessage activation, that's exactly how to fix that. And the next one is FaceTime activation. So it's almost kind of the same thing, but typically with you know the FaceTime part, sometimes for some reason, I don't know why, it'll randomly just never you know turn on. It'll just end up being stuck in that same panel, this one over, no, not this one, but it'll be stuck in a panel like this, but it will just say, you know, activation failed for FaceTime. Now, in order to fix this, it's pretty much almost the same thing as the iMessage activation. You wanna hop into your settings. So once you come into here, you wanna scroll over until you get into FaceTime, which is right here. So you wanna go ahead and click there. You'll come into this little panel now. The very first toggle that you see here is going to allow you to actually toggle on FaceTime on and off. So all you'll have to do, just like how we did on iMessage, is toggle this off or toggle it on. You just basically want to reset it. Now it may take another second or two, as you can see, it didn't give me all these little options down here. So it will take a couple of seconds for it to actually go on, but you wanna make sure you're signed into an iCloud account. If you don't have iCloud or anything like that associated with your phone, you're not gonna be able to go ahead and actually utilize it. So make sure you have an Apple ID on your device. So once you're done with this specific thing, all you'll have to do is make your way over to FaceTime and try to make a FaceTime call. If you're actually able to go and make a FaceTime call, then you're perfectly set. If you're still not able to make a FaceTime call after re-toggling it down in the settings, what you can do is probably, as stated before, restart your phone. So power down your phone just like this, and then you want to power it off, and then you want to go ahead and hold down the side button again to power it back on, and then you want to go ahead and test out FaceTime again. This might end up fixing it, but if that doesn't end up fixing it either, the last thing that you can do, which isn't the last thing besides a factory reset, is to update your device. Just like how we mentioned on the iMessage side, you wanna go into your settings, you wanna go into general, you wanna click software update, which is right here, and you just wanna download and install this update. What ends up happening is that sometimes, as stated before with the iMessage problems, there can be times where for some reason, you know, you're FaceTime problem may just be associated with that software account. So once you go ahead and update your device, you'll probably end up fixing those problems. So that's exactly how to do that. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. 
my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.